What's going on, boys? Welcome back to another Emergency Response Liberty County video. Thank you so much for blowing up yesterday's video about the murder mystery quest, and I thought that today it would be a great idea just to put out this very quick video and do an official ERLC murder mystery quest speed run. We all know what a speedrun is, right? In case you don't know, you basically pick a game that you already know and are somewhat familiar with and you try to get from level 1 all the way to finish as fast as you possibly can. This is very common with retro game and older games, but as I said, I think it would be really really fun to do an ERLC speedrun, understanding that we already know how the murder mystery quest begins and ends. With that being said, let's waste absolutely no time, and by the way, the reason why I thought this would be a great mini game to do a speedrun in is because there's actually nothing to the mystery quest. If you paid attention attention to what the quest is actually telling you, you can set waypoints to every single location. It basically tells you what to do. It literally involves little to no effort. I am not even kidding. I am calling it right now. I am pretty darn confident I could speed run this in five minutes or less. So here we go. Let's set a timer on the screen now and we are officially going to start the murder mystery quest. Here we go and off we go to the body boys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And yes, I do have to use all the free vehicles because honestly, this is my alt account and I told you guys, I have alt accounts galore. Zany is never going anywhere. Okay, and here we are over at the first scene. Let's hurry up. All we really have to do here is analyze the body, nothing else. And we've analyzed the body. And see, this is what I mean. We could set a waypoint now to the victim's house. Let's hurry it up. And off we go. Pulling into the victim's house now. Hurry up. And all we really need here is the shell casings. After we talk to this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as a matter of fact, I don't even think we need to talk to this guy. No, I really don't think we do. So we're going to go here. We're going to collect the ammo casings. Oh, and there they are. I do see the footprints. Okay, but I can't analyze them just yet. Uh oh, which one's mine? Here we go. Awesome. And now we are off to visit the girlfriend. Let's hurry it up. Or not the girlfriend, I think it was the friend, but you know they had something going on if he saw her the night before and then was supposed to take her on a date the day after. Like, come on, bro. Just put a title on it, right? And we are getting close. Here we go. Awesome. Sandy, what is going on? Okay, and maybe we do have to go through the prompts here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome. And, you know, I'm really thinking that maybe this wasn't necessary with Sandy, but maybe it was. Yeah, maybe it was. Okay, awesome. Let's go talk to the witness now. Here we are talking to the witness now, Mr. Cletus. And here we go. I was told you have something to report. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get on with it. And immediately after this, we are going to head to the bridge. And, you know, I really should have made a stop by the police station to drop off the ammo. But, oh, wow, that's probably going to delay us a little bit. We won't count that towards the speed run here. Let's pull out our UV light. I got the UV light. Let's do it. We are approaching the blood splatter on the bridge. There we go, and now we are going to investigate the footprints, there we go, and we are so close boys, we just have to go to the police department now, and then after that, we are going to head over to the ammo store. In the police department now to talk to Officer Gomez, let's go, let's get it. Analyze these rounds please. So that is going to take 10 minutes. Again, for the sake of this speedrun, we are not going to count it. Let me check the clues menu to make sure there's nothing else I can be doing while I wait. Oh, yes, there is. The cameras. I totally forgot about the cameras. And then after the cameras, we'll stop the clock and resume as soon as we hear back from Officer Gomez. Great. The cameras are confirmed. Now we are just waiting on the ammunition. The ammo casing analysis is back. Let's go. Let's waste no time. I know exactly where I'm going, so I don't even need to look at the clues. This is the last leg of the quest, boy. 
boys. This is gonna reveal the true time. I am just gonna cut through the brush line here. Let's go, yeah, boy. Ooh, oh, and I overshot, I overshot, but it's okay. We are here and that's all that matters. Let's hurry it up, let's hurry it up. Talk to the gun dealer and this should be it, hurry up. All right, and just like that, all of our objectives are complete. Three of three on every single category, murder weapon, identity, location, and date of crime. And just like that, we are done. Stop the time, and this is the official tally. This is the official speed run for the 2021 ERLC murder mystery quest. So now that I'm done and I've had time to digest everything I did, I don't think I would have talked to everyone for as long as I actually did in this speed run. And I also think I would have been a little bit more strategic about how I handled the officer going situation because if we add that time in the true speed run is the 10 minutes plus the 5 minutes and 42 seconds that I actually did on this video and that's it boys this is the official speed run challenge for you if you complete the murder mystery faster than I did let me know in the comments below shoot me a screenshot of your timed effort on the Dizzy Instagram or Twitter don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I hope you guys had as much fun as I have and until next time long live the zanies